Hello Vlostoop, my name is Jani and this is a new episode of Stitch With Me. Um, Gypsy Queen Edition. Yeah! <laughs> I'm stitching um, Gypsy Queen by Mirabilia. Uh, the fabric is uh, a Lugana, Lugana 28, and uh, it's called Fresco. So it's a really beautiful, uh, really pale green, and the colors of, of her dress and everything uh, re really look uh, amazing in this fabric. So. Yeah, as usually, as, as usual, I, I finish the the face and I finish all this um, uh, her hair and all these leaves, and I I also finish uh, all her skin in um, the arms and the top uh, part of her dress. I all these uh, blank spaces are for the beads and the crystals, but I will let uh, the all the beading for for the end of the project. And I'm also stitching um, the metallics. So yeah, I really really enjoying her. Um, the 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 skin is uh, two over two. I'm too <laughs> scared of stitching over one, so yeah, as all my, my mirrors, the skin is, is two over two. So yeah, I'm, uh, now that I finish all the, the top part, I'm start, uh, I'm starting to, to feel all the, all the blank space here. <laughs> Um, it's a really uh, enjoyable project to stitch because it has a lot of, of uh, blocks of color so it's not really hard um, I finish uh, this um, oops <laughs> the, the column and you know the uh, outline of the of the dress so now all the all the feeling filling the the spaces so yeah really uh, enjoying this this project i hope to i i want to be able to finish her um, before the, the the mexican retreat in october um, we are just two months away of the <laughs> of the event so yeah really really happy and I'm working uh, on her and in the um, sampler by Moira Blackburn, the three things sampler. So the idea is to finish uh, both projects before the retreat. So I don't know if I I am um, going to be able to <laughs> to do that, but hopefully. Um, the thing is that I I need not to start anything new. <laughs> so uh, that's the that's the difficult part. But you know, enjoying the the project and getting my stitching bug back because I didn't I, I wasn't you know um, in the mood or, or feeling like um, stitching this last week but now I'm, I'm feeling a little better <laughs> so yeah I uh, but I am been um, you know organizing my the, the material that I will bring to them to the retreats and the charts and the fabric and you know all my oops 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 sorry <laughs> don't get dizzy all my my 
my stitching pieces and you know I will need uh, <laughs> a lot of, of um, space in the in my car to bring all the <laughs> All the all, all that I'm planning to bring to the retreat so yeah we'll see because I I'm I want to to put in the in the hotel in the room uh, where the event is going to be I want to put a little um, like a mini and needle store uh, with my fabrics and some of my charts, you know, just uh, like a, a, a little uh, store there. So yeah, it, that's that's the idea. So I'm trying to to put uh, th things together, you know, uh, finishing pieces and charts and. Uh, thinking about how I will display my my fabrics and whoops <laughs> my dog <laughs> so I'm you know having fun with with that idea so yeah <laughs> Um, what I'm doing? Do, 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 do. Yeah. And what else? What else? Oh yeah, I was um watching um a video from Teresa, kitten teacher, and she was um. She, she made a, a, a tag of uh, 10 questions for, for teachers, so I think that I might answer the tag. Um, so let's see, let's see. Uh, the first question is, what stitch do you, do you see in, on a chart and you go, oh crap. Uh, <laughs> I I don't know. Perhaps some specialty stitches. Mm. But I don't know. I I guess I don't like. Um, it's queer, but I don't like full coverage. I love the my mirrors and you know all this part is actually full coverage but you are just you know stitching the the dress and I, I enjoy all, all this um, all these uh, designs but if you give me you know a block uh, a full coverage um, stitch <laughs> those are the one that I say oh crap <laughs> um, perhaps that's why I don't really stitch um, heaven and earth design because I feel um, very much overwhelmed by by the the, the stitching of, of a full coverage project and I I'm guessing it's also a, a matter of uh, state of mind because b perhaps if you put together three or four mirabilias there are uh, the the number of stitches are similar to a small um, full coverage project but I probably stitch three of or four mirrors in three or four months <laughs> and I will never finish uh, the, the, the equivalent to in stitches uh, 
to a, a heaven on earth. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's a matter of preferences. Uh, number two, what type of threat besides DMC do you have the most of? Um, I don't have really much um, fancy flosses. I have DMC and an anchor, and uh, some of of my silks and. and Dyed uh, flosses are from my chatelain kits that I, I got with all the materials, you know, the kits, and they came with the Glorianas and water lilies and all, all those uh, flosses. But I don't really have a, a collection of, of those kind of, of threads. <laughs> Besides DMC and and the, the some of the a few anchors that I I keep in my stash. Uh, number three, have you ever given up on a piece because of the fabric or thread? Uh, yeah, I remember um, many years ago. I I start. Um, a design from told in a garden um, it's uh, I, I don't even remember the name It's a beautiful design um, with two children in in a garden, and the the, the colors are beautiful, uh, the greens and everything. So I really really love the the design, and I uh, start to stitch it in a, in a piece of of linen, but it wasn't. Uh, a linen for for cross stitch, uh, so it was really really uh, difficult to stitch and yeah, not a not a good decision. So I I give up on on that project, and the the sad part is that I give up on the on the chart. So <laughs> I didn't keep the chart. I give it away uh, perhaps I, I sold it or you know give it to one of my my friends I don't know what I did with <laughs> with that chart but yeah it, it was a really beautiful design and I still love the design but yeah I I will have to get the, the chart and you know start again in a more uh, suitable fabric. Um, number three, what is the worst damage you've ever done to your needlework? Um, also, many years ago, I I didn't know how to frame my pieces, so. I glue <laughs> some of them yeah it was terrible but you know you live and learn so I try to <laughs> do it uh, better uh, lately so yeah but some of, of, of some pieces that I stitch I I glue to uh, pieces of wood or uh, cardboard or something like that and you know kind of, of ruin them so yeah <laughs> there's that uh, number 
five. What is the weirdest chart you stitch? Um, I don't know. I usually pick very classic and very, you know, pretty <laughs> designs to stitch. I I don't usually pick um, uh, weird um, charts. So yeah, I need to, you know, to sp spice my <laughs> my taste a little. I kind of of boring. I need to to try new things, I guess. But well, you know, one stitch. What I'm I'm very used to to my 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 mirrors and you know the pretty ladies and mermaids and fairies and stuff like that so <laughs> I don't know Have you ever misplaced a piece? Yes, unfortunately, I I start uh, Queen of Fairies by Passione Ricamo. It's a beautiful design of a fairy with a white dress. <gasps> you know her wings and really really pretty and I misplaced the design so there is no way I could uh, stitch the the dress <laughs> the, the the bottom part of the dress in in the fabric and I am like a uh, half uh, way of the halfway through of, of the design um, it's already stitched so yeah <laughs> I guess I could um, you know try to to finish her without finish the the bottom part of her dress but yeah that was really really a, a shame <laughs> again you live alone uh, number seven what is your worst stitching injury uh, I don't know I guess sometimes I with my um, I have arthritis in my so some days are worse than others and I can really stitch but you no know, beside that I uh, most of the days I really enjoy <laughs> stitching not a really significant um, injury luckily <laughs> uh, number eight what do you do with your patterns when you're finished with a project um, I keep them I again in, in many years ago in the beginning I give them away or you know um, but now I, I keep them and that's a good thing because <laughs> I have a lot of, of them and uh, I can I can share them with the in, in, in the retreat I will bring a lot of, of those um, charts with me so yeah that that is a good thing and you know even though I, I didn't keep the the first one that I that I stitch um, some of those charts I, I I am being able to 
to recover and get it again so yeah <laughs> usually I keep my my patterns number nine what to you would be a perfect stitching get together uh, I'm hoping the the Mexican retreat will be uh, a perfect stitching get together um, I, I I remember when I it was precisely in one of, of my videos I was talking about how great would would it be if if I could go to to a retreat and and I was um, talking about uh, some of the American retreats and Ingabor uh, wrote me in a comment you know what Yanni if, if you really want to 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 go to a retreat why don't you um, plan uh, one <laughs> for for yourself and for the for the people in your country so yeah that's how uh, the idea start and I hope that would be a, a perfect um, stitching uh, get together <laughs> and number 10 what do you think will happen to your needle work when you're gone um, I don't know um, but uh, frankly it's not something that I get very worry about um, I mean I I know my family and my kids and my husband uh, really appre appreciate what I what I do and my stitching and everything but um, after I am gone I don't know if they will be keeping my pieces but if not, uh, for one reason or another, I know that I enjoy them, I enjoy stitching them, and you know, I, it was a, a wonderful time, and hopefully <laughs> uh, that spirit can go with, with my pieces, and perhaps someone else could also enjoy them uh, I, I guess that's the idea it's really sad um, when I'm seeing some of your um, thrift store uh, thrift store um, treasure you know saving the the stitching that you found uh, some lovely pieces, uh, lovely stitching pieces, uh, really, really um, cheap and you know, kind of, of abandoned. So, but well, the the work and the and the love and the spirit of the of the pieces is still around so yeah <laughs> so those are the the 10 questions from Teresa thank you Teresa yeah I must be I must try to to be a little more um, adventurous <laughs> because I'm really um, at, I'm not always uh, look for doing things differently and yeah perhaps I could have some fun <laughs> on it so we'll see we'll see But 
for now I guess that's it uh, thank you for joining me I hope I could be able to to stitch with you <laughs> and I will see you in my next video bye bye